Hello North Central College, this is your weekly update. I'm your host, Michael Griffin. Let's wrap up the week. On Tuesday, the U.S. held its midterm elections to reallocate the balance of power within Congress. Republicans were expected to win by large margins in the House of Representatives and potentially even take back the Senate. However, to, many, to the surprise of many political analysts, Democrats overperformed in many of their races. Democrats had a strong showing in states like Georgia, which is setting its Senate race between Raphael Warnock and Herschel Walker to a runoff election in December. Democrats were also able to flip a Senate seat in Pennsylvania after electing John Fetterman to the Senate on Tuesday. Republicans were able to make some gains in the House, though, and were able to hold on to Wisconsin's Senate seat. As of today, as of filming this, we are still waiting on results from Arizona, Nevada, and Alaska for Senate, and a handful of states to determine control of the House of Representatives. Next up, heading on over to Ukraine, the Ukrainian forces have continued to make progress in small cities in the southern region of the country and are now poised to retake the city, key city of Kherson. This is yet another blow to Russian forces and President Putin's plans to take over Ukraine. As Russian forces from the area begin their retreat, Ukrainian forces were able to retake roughly 60 square miles of land. U.S. Joint Chief of Staff Mark Milley has estimated that both Russians and Ukrainians have lost roughly 100,000 troops as fighting has crossed the nine-month mark. Fighting is expected to slow in the coming weeks and months with the onset of winter, and some nations are making a case that it might be a good time for the two nations to consider peace talks. Next up, we're heading down to Florida as Hurricane Nicole made landfall early Thursday morning as a Category 1 hurricane. While much weaker and smaller than Hurricane Ian ju just a few months ago, the storm still managed to pack a punch for residents of Florida with reports of damaged and collapsed homes. Hurricane Nicole has now been downgraded to a tropical storm as it continues to dump lots of heavy rain on the state. Last up this week, we're taking a closer look at some more results of ballot measures across a handful of states to legalize recreational use of marijuana. Ballot measures during the midterm elections were voted on directly by residents in Arkansas, Missouri, Maryland, and North and South Dakota. Missouri and Maryland overwhelmingly voted in support of the amendments to their constitutions. However, the vote did end up failing in Arkansas and the Dakotas. With these results, recreational marijuana is now legal for adults 21 up in 21 states, including Washington, D.C. That is all for this week. Please come back as we continue to recap the largest stories throughout our campus and our world at large. Have a great week.